around the world, four million hearts rely on ICI pharmaceuticals. World problems, world solutions, world class. I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker son, and I'm only plucking pheasant till the pheasant plucker comes. And I've been drinking. First, they found it. I wouldn't touch it. Then, they tested it. You steer, I'll push. You know what? Ah! Then, How do I look? like a hood ornament, they decided to try it. Ah! This summer, there's excitement in the air. I'm just getting the hang of it. On the ground. Big gopher. And everywhere else. I like it. The Rocketeer, in the West End and all over London from Friday. With a camera, a little patience and the right kind of film, you can find an image of hope. Tonight at 5 past 11 on ITV, the River Thames. This week, the story of what was once the greatest river port in the world. Docklands was a proud and bustling area, and those who lived and worked there reflect on the passing of an important era in the history of our capital. From the heyday to the darker days of dereliction and neglect, and on to the futuristic and controversial development taking place now. The River Thames, tonight at 5 past 11 on ITV. In this week's edition of Sex Now, Yvonne Roberts examines what women want. week we saw that women have been at the centre of a major change in the pattern of sexual relations in Britain over the past 30 years. They've moved closer and closer to what was once seen as a male standard of behaviour, starting their sex lives earlier and having more partners. But as we also saw last week, women still aren't getting the same level of fulfilment from sex as men. So tonight, with the help of our special survey and our sex diaries, compiled for us anonymously by ordinary men and women, we're going to try and find out why the sexual revolution has apparently let women down so badly. Almost everyone accepts today that women can and should enjoy sex as much as men. Since this idea first took root in the 60s and 70s, women's magazines have poured a lot of energy into detailing the inadequacies of male sexual technique. Much of the discussion has centred on the female orgasm and how men can help women to achieve it. So we might expect by now that women would find men better lovers, but that's not what's emerged from our research. The continuing frustrations experienced by women today were described by many of our female diarists, including Claire, a 24-year-old advertising executive. She's represented here by an actor, like all of those who appear in our diary extracts. Claire began her diary by describing her liberated approach to sex and relationships. I really do enjoy the power that my sexuality has over men. I enjoy being desired and being the object of sexual arousal. A psychiatrist 